So if you're running a website or a blog, sometimes it can be really hard to make design changes on your website. And even I'm an experienced developer, but still I feel it is a really boring process to edit all the CSS and make changes. And especially if you're a newbie and you don't have much knowledge about CSS code, it can be really overwhelming to make those changes. And recently I was contacted by the team from Visual CSS Editor and these folks told me they have developed this Chrome extension where you can edit your website completely visually. And thanks to them, they're sponsoring this video. I'm going to show you how useful this tool is. And this tool can completely edit your website visually. You do not need to know any CSS. And they have a lot of nice features. For example, just to mention a few, you can see the visual inspector, customize any website visually, not just your website. You can take design information from any website on the internet. So your visual inspector, customize any website visually, automatic CSS selectors, 60 plus CSS properties. And I think they have improved. They are more than that. Visual dragging, visual margin, parry editing. And there's so many nice things here. So without any delay, let me show you how this works and how we can use this to your benefit and make your design changes really easy. So what you need to do is you need to go to Google and then search here Visual CSS Editor Chrome extension. Then you'll see this link here. You can find the link in description of this video to come to the right extension, which I'm showing in this video. You can click on this link and then what you can do, you can click here on add to Chrome and then click on add extension. So now the extension is added, you can see the message here, but once you click here, the icon will disappear because it's the first time installation. So what you need to do now is click here on extension and then scroll or you can find it much upper here, depending on which extension you have installed on your Chrome browser and then click here on pin. So once you pin this, you can see, you will always see this extension here. Okay, let me show you how it works. This is really interesting guys. I'm using this personally from a few weeks now and this really makes my workflow very easy. And if you're a beginner, you can learn a lot about designs by this extension. Okay, so you need to open your website or any other website on the internet and then click here on Visual CSS Editor. And you can see this was really fast. That's the thing I like about this Chrome extension that this is really fast and lightweight and this makes workflow very fast. On the left side, you have all the menu and navigation items. On the right side, you have this window where the relevant information will be shown once you select any element on the page. Okay. So as you know, everything on a web page is an element. This text here, this heading, the image, everything is the element. So on left side is multiple option. First is element inspector. So if you click on element inspector, you have three options: cursor navigate. If you select this one, you can freely move your cursor on the page. Nothing will change on the page and you can navigate through the page. Okay. The second option is flexible inspector and then single inspector. So they are very similar. Single inspector will select only single element, but flexible, it will inspect multiple elements. So let's start the single one, click on single inspector. So now, for example, if I select this menu link, home, you think this is selected. And you can see on the right side, we have all the information about that text or element you have selected. You can drag this to any place on the screen. And once it is selected, you can see, if you click on text, you have all the information about this text. You can see which font family is used for this element, what is the font weight, what is the font size. And from here, you can make any changes. You can see if I increase the font size, the size is increasing in real time. Everything what you make changes here, you see the effect immediately in real time on the page. And then you can make any other change. For example, if you want to make it italic, I can turn it to italic. Or if I'm transformed to like lowercase or uppercase, I can do this from here. And then you can close it. And you can see there are multiple elements here. For example, you can change the background, you can change the spacings, you can increase the padding to left, right, or you can make any other changes. You want to change the margins, you can change the margins from here. Left, right, margins, for example, you want to change margin from the top, you can do this. And once you make any changes, you want to undo changes, you can just click on undo here. You can undo more and you can see it reached to its original position. You can undo here and if you want to redo, you can just redo from this link here. Okay. And you can select any other element on the page. For example, if I select this heading, I need to click once more. And then you can see all the information or the design information for the element is shown here. For example, you want to change the borders, I can click on border here and then I can choose a style border style and then you can see I selected the style and then you need to give some width. So you can see the border is here. If I want to add the border on the right side, I can click on right and then increase the width and then choose either the solid one or the dotted one from here and you can see the changes are here. You can drag this window anywhere you want and if you want to undo, you can undo it. You can close the option from here. For example, if you want to change the spacings or anything else, for example, if you want to change the shadow, I can change the shadow from here. I can increase the blur radius. You can see there's a blur radius added to the element. You have so many options inside. I really like this thing about this 
extension you can make change outside or inside and you can change the color for example you want to choose red color now our blur is red color let's undo this make this little bit cleaner okay if i want to change something on this button i can select the button and then i can change anything let's go back to spacing and if i click on padding left you can see the padding to left is increased padding to right is increased we can change the margins from here for example margin top you can see the margin is changing so everything is changing in real time i really like this and it's so easy guys we have not used any css until now to change our website design visually and this is like really really helpful plugin personally in my workflow it changed a lot of things okay so this was the element selector single one if you click again use flexible one you can see now is the flexible one. it selected the multiple elements here so you understand how its selector works and how you can make change things let's see another option your navigator here so you can see navigator your preview of the elements on the page for example this is a complete body if i select body you can see the whole body is selected here if i select top banner you can see this is a top banner website on the top and funny thing is i have added this by code on my website not a plugin not any automatic functionality this is raw html i have added on my website and i can change it anything how i want i'll undo this you can also use control z or command z on your mac to undo changes and then you can see we have this page if i select the page you can see the page is selected if you click here you can see the inner elements are shown here for example master is here so this is the master of the website then your content of the website you can see the content is selected and then inside content your elementor elementor block there's so many things here so this is really easy to navigate through the elements on the page and you think this is complicated overwhelming don't worry you will use it few times and learn a lot of things about visual changes on your website okay let's see the third option responsive mode so when you choose responsive mode you can see how your website will look on tablet devices you want you can scroll this and you can see how your website will look on smaller screens so it's really nice option you can make your website how it looks on mobile devices and then you can make the relevant changes to text or any element on the page and then we have measure tool let's close the responsive mode and then we are measuring tool so if you select the measuring tool you can see height and width of the elements on the page you can see this title it is 1000 pixel in width and 92 pixel in height and this is button this is 259 pixel in width and 56 pixel in height and the text which is a span inside which is 112 into 20 pixel if you don't know span span is also an html element and then we have wireframe you can see you can work with the wireframe of the website here you can move anything if you're making this for a client anything you can work on wireframes here really easy to work on wireframe you don't need to install any other external things you can create complete wireframe using this tool let's close the wireframe and then you have design information typography information of element on the page for example if i click on this one so you can see this is the by default element selected and then you can click on page and you can see all the typography information about the page you can see all the images used on the page their urls you can copy them what are the type of used for example h1 is 64 pixels poppins font h2 s3 and so on and i'm using open sans font family poppins and lucida grande font family and for example if you click on element and then then if i double click on the element you can see the css selector so first it's inside the primary menu and then menu item and then menu link and then the tag is a tag which is link tag for html elements and then you see the classes then even you can see the code which is creating this element for example if i select this one you can see now there is a a tag again and then you see all the classes you can click on heading again and then you can see the tag is h1 and you have so much information from this tool and this is a really nice tool guys for example if i select this image and then i can make any changes for example if i go to spacings and then i see padding left you can see the padding is changed okay once you satisfied with the changes what you can do you can review the changes once you review the changes you can see all the changes made they are here so there the css changes you don't need to learn about css changes you can just see the changes what you have made and you can copy this changes and add to your website to your wordpress website or your html website any kind of website guys this is really easy and what else you can do you can click on export here and you will see this pop up here consider upgrading to professional plan because i already use this plugin a lot there is a free plan available but what you can do you can just click on see pricing then you come to space and then once again click on see pricing and then your first plan which is starter free plan limited to 100 design edits per month and if you are beginner or you just want to make some change on your website 100 designs is enough and if you like the plugin you buy this plugin this is only 30 dollars per year plugin real nice plugin i think guys this is worth it you can just click on get started and get the professional plan of this plugin 
And guys, comment down below if you have installed this Chrome extension and what do you think about it? And what is your opinion about this? I'll be really happy to hear your opinion. And like always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with somebody, guys. It really helps the channel to grow and I'll be happy to know that you guys are liking my videos. And if you want to rank your website on Google, check out this video on screen.